Hello everybody, I am Chris Baker from LuckyGunner.com. Last week, our YouTube channel officially hit 500,000 subscribers. I wanna throw out a huge thank you to all half a million of you, but especially those of you who regularly watch, share, and engage with our videos. And an extra special thanks to any of you who have actually bought ammo from us. That's really what allows us to keep doing this. We published our very first video on YouTube almost exactly eight years ago. I can't promise we'll do another eight years, but we don't plan on stopping anytime soon. I know a lot of you guys would like us to publish content more frequently, we probably don't make half as many videos as most of the other content creators you follow. We try to make up for that by making every video truly useful and interesting and by covering topics that you're probably not gonna hear a whole lot about from other sources. Today, as a way to celebrate the occasion, I thought it would be fun to share five of my personal favorite videos from the Lucky Gunner archives. Now, I'm coming at this as the guy who made these videos, so, I'm not saying these are the five best. I picked them mostly because they were either fun to make or because I got to talk about something I think is important. I also disqualified anything with over a million views. So this isn't really greatest hits. It's more like cult classics with a cult of just one person. Number one on our list is why the best snub nose caliber is 32. And some of you are already thinking, oh no, he's gonna talk about 32 again. Yes, I am, and I'm not sorry because a 32 is the perfect Goldilocks solution for concealed carry, except that ammo availability is horrible. And if you wanna to try to persuade anyone to try carrying a 32 snubby, you have to start off by explaining that there are actually four different 32 cartridges and they are definitely not all created equal. The 32s I have in mind are not a single cartridge, but a family of four cartridges. 32 short, 32 long, 32 H&R Magnum, and 327 Federal Magnum. 32 short, also known as 32 Smith & Wesson short. In hindsight, I tried to cram way too much information into this video. It's got history, an overview of hardware options, recoil comparison, and ballistic gel testing. This was probably not the best way to recruit members for Team 32. It's a bit much to take in all at once, but it's a pretty good info dump if you're curious about 32s, and I'm glad I got it out of my system. Okay, number two is blowback versus recoil operated pistols. This is one of the videos I am most proud of. It took me several years to really understand the difference between blowback and recoil operated pistols. I could have given you plenty of examples of each, but I had to have it explained to me several times before I really understood how they actually work. When it did finally click, I thought, well, that's actually really simple. It would have made sense to me a lot sooner with some kind of visual aid. So that's where this video came from. I made a couple of basic animations and I used some high-speed video footage. The result is, I think a pretty solid explanation of some concepts that are hard to describe with words alone. Number three, shotgun hack job, budget DIY home defense. This is one we published at the end of last year where I pretended to be a gunsmith. After hearing the advice for years that you can get a budget home defense shotgun by modifying a cheap pawn shop hunting shotgun, I decided to actually try it myself. Okay, so main things I'm gonna do here attempt to do anyway is chop the barrel down to 18 and a half inches it's 28 inches right now and i want to shorten the length of pull of the stock it's 14 inches i want to get it down to about 12 12 and a half something like that i'm also gonna now this video made the list pretty much just because i had a lot of fun making it i don't have any actual gunsmithing skills but i'm just handy enough to be dangerous in the garage and it's always fun to play with power tools when somebody else will pay the bill if you ruin the project. But the shotgun actually turned out better than I had expected. It ended up being a really nice shooter. And uh, I think we'll definitely try another project like this in the future if we can find something that is garage worthy. Number four, the M1 Carbine series. I tried to pick just one video from the series, but 
how could I? I love all of them. The M1 carbine is my all-time favorite rifle, and I've had a blast making every one of these videos. This started out as a four-part series back in 2019, but I've made three additional M1 carbine videos in the years since, and just added them to that playlist. I keep thinking each one is gonna be the last, but you guys keep watching them, so maybe I'll keep making them. It might be a while until the next one, though. Availability of 30 carbine ammo has been... Actually, I would rather not talk about it right now. Let's not ruin this moment. And last, but certainly not least, we have 9mm, underpowered, and overrated. This was not the first appearance of Manny Mansfield, but I still think it's the best. I suppose owning a 9mm would be better than owning no handgun at all, but that's not something I'd share in public unless I wanted to be labeled a communist. It's possible that one day bullet technology could change and make the 9mm useful for shooting something other than paper targets and small dogs. Even if that day comes, you can bet I'll stick with my Colt 45, because changing your mind is for weak-willed men, and there's nothing weak about the 45 ACP. For those of you who have been asking for more of Manny, I can't say for sure when or if he will return. We will keep digging through the archives to see if we can find any more of those old-fashioned nuggets of uh, Manny's very special brand of wisdom. In the meantime, let us know if there are any other topics you'd like us to cover. Thanks again for getting us to 500. Buy yourself a tasty beverage to celebrate and then buy some ammo from us with lightning fast shipping at luckygunner.com.